Huh? But I'll do my best. Fatality. You got me muted. Oh my god, I've been silenced. <laughs> I've been silenced. I'm always getting censored. Always. We're good now? Okay. Hi, I'm Outlawed, and I'm going to play some Mortal Kombat for you. <laughs> Thank you, RGL, for having me on the event. Always love the good old coin up classic. I'm playing Revision 5, so I can't do any funky corner entrance for you. But I'll do whatever I can. <laughs> Hope everybody's had a fantastic time at the marathon. These guys always put on a good show. Flawless victory. Don't sub zero. Don't sub zero. So I'm playing on the play two side so we can take advantage of this particular jump punch that they'll almost always try to counter. They won't always do it on the play one side. The, the whole thing with Mortal Kombat on arcade is that the AI is very, very sketchy. And if you don't know your exploits, you're sort of not going to get anywhere. <laughs> Once you learn the exploits, it um, becomes very easy. All right, hopefully this goes well. I must concentrate. All right. Flawless victory. That's good. That's not good. No, that's not good at all. I'm gonna give him the round. Liu Kang wins. We need that false victory. There we go. Uh, flashing lights, warning, guys. Flawless victory. If the run's going to get taken away, it'll be here. But I think we're good. I don't know, maybe not. He's got an insane walk speed, and it's so easy for him just to get the drop on me. Like that. Oh, this is not good. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Can we just pretend that that didn't happen? <laughs> I'll show myself out. The one bad thing that could have happened. Of course it's going to happen. Of course it is. That walk speed will wreck me every single time. I'm 
bait Kano into juggles by uppercutting. Very consistent strat with Kano. Fatality. Exactly. Pretend what didn't happen. Look away. Fight. So embarrassing. Usually it's the endurance matches that'll do that, but Reptile's walk speed, it gets me every single time. It's so hard to just control space once he's done it to you. It's so early in the run, too. Okay, so I'm going to switch the strats up here now. We're going to stun lock him. Hopefully. Raiden's teleport will be coming in very handy in a second. He just does not want to be stun locked. MK1 wants me to fail today. Here we go. Every uh, arcade rendition of Mortal Kombat besides the fourth one, you can perform that stun lock in High Punch. Fatality. Makes the game terribly easy once you figure out how to do it. Only character it can't be performed on is uh, Sonya. So I'm going to resort to the original strat. Just jump punch. Even if they block it, you can just chip them out. Completely safe. Fatality. What are we even testing our mind? Do a shadow kick? Nope. You can bait them into throwing a projectile just by throwing your own and then teleporting. The 
which I can't seem to do. I'm getting old and slow. See if we can perform a glitch on Goro. Such a poor shell in Mortal Kombat. This is Revision 5.0, yeah. They're all broken in that way, though. The idea being, if, you, if you're holding any direction when the round ends, you won't go into your wind pose. And then if you start jumping around once Goro comes in, you'll just do some weird stuff. You can also completely break the game as well uh, if you start glitching out Shang Tsung. Like, you can just freeze the entire game. If he actually will turn back on his regular self. Come on, walk back. Stop being Liu Kang. Minute run, that's not bad, right? <laughs> and that was probably the most terrible run of all the run you'll ever see. Cheers very much, guys. Um, give me a couple of minutes to switch boards over, and I shall return with Mortal Kombat 2. I'll see you then.